Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. By the time, uh... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be discussing my October favorites. I don't know about you guys, but October absolutely flew by for me. Um, and I didn't do like a September or October favorites because in the beginning of fall, I did post a fall favorites video. I will link that down below. So that kind of covered like my first two months but I decided I really do wanna get back into doing favorites videos religiously. They're my favorite, they're quick, they're fun, they're easy. Um, so I just thought that I would quickly share with you guys what I've been loving in the month of October. I literally can't believe it's November already. That's like sickening to think about. It's just wild. I don't even, I don't even know where, the past, where I've been for the past three months, honestly, like no clue. So without further ado, if you're interested in seeing the products that I loved in October, then just keep watching. So I think I want to start with a non-makeup product first. Um, about two weeks ago, and I know this doesn't really count as like an October favorite because it happened two weeks ago. So mid-October, I decided to chop off all my hair and now I'm kind of going with this long bob situation, which I've actually really, really been loving. It's so easy, so quick. Um, and part of the reason why I wanted to chop all my hair off is to make sure that it's nice and healthy, give myself about, give myself like eight months to grow before the wedding so I can have like nice, long, pretty hair. With all that being said, I'm trying to basically relearn how to style my hair. I have not had really, really short hair in a few years and even when I did have kind of like medium length hair, I was wearing my extensions quite frequently. Um, so this has just been like a whole new ball game with learning how to get my hair to cooperate. I like really voluminous, <laughs> as I'm sitting here with like stick straight hair. I do like voluminous, like fun, wavy hair. Um, so basically, long story short, I've been styling my hair mostly with kind of like messy bedhead wave kind of things. And this texture spray has absolutely saved my life. I don't style my hair without this if I'm curling it. This is the AG Hair Care Tousled Texture Body and Shine Finishing Spray. Um, they do have a sea salt spray. I use that. Um, they have like a pomade texturizing paste. I love that as well. But this has been my go-to. A, it smells so, so good. And it kind of gives your hair that like matte, like gritty texture, but it doesn't make it greasy. Um, I will say I don't use this in my roots. I will go in with like a dry shampoo or like a volumizing blow dry spray in my roots. I will not put this in there just because I find it gets a little too gunky and kind of weighs it down where up top you want like a lot of that volume. So the way that I like to use this after I've curled my hair, I will just kind of like lift sections and just like spray underneath and then I will scrunch it up and kind of like mess it up. It is a little bit sticky so it will hold your style, but like I said, it dries to that kind of like matte, gritty, like thick, voluminous, like beachy wave situation. And I've just really, really been loving this. I don't like super tight curls and I'll curl some towards my face, I'll curl away from my face just to get that like nice wavy texture and then I'll spray this in, give it a little scrunch and you are good to go. So the next product I wanted to share with you all is actually a skincare product and this is the Mario Badesco Drying Lotion. You guys, <laughs> this, I use this every day for the last month. Like I needed this so badly. My face, I don't know what happened, but decided to just have like a complete meltdown. Like my forehead and my chin and my cheeks, it looked like a literal freaking pizza. It was so bad. So this basically is like a spot treatment and I don't know if you can see, but it is a clear liquid. And then up to here, there is kind of like a pink sediment. So what you do is you just dump your Q-tip in there and then you just spot treat. I use this before I go to bed. Um, and this dried up anything I had. My skin looks so much better ever since I've been using this. You do need to moisturize frequently with this because it is a drying lotion. So it will really dry out your skin, but it dries out all of that gunk and all of your clogged pores. And like I said, it's a spot treatment. So you just put it in the spaces that you need so you don't end up with like dry flaky patches like you do with like an actual lotion or an acne treatment. Do not shake the bottle when you use it. You want just the pink sediment at the bottom. You don't want any of that clear liquid. It does smell very strong, but it works so well. And it does burn a little bit. I have to warn you when you put it on your blemish, but this has been an absolute lifesaver between traveling and the weather changing and just, you know, being a girl in general, my skin was just an absolute mess. 
and this definitely, definitely saved me. So I have four makeup products here, but I think I'm gonna go in order of how you would apply them to your face. So I wanna start with foundation first. This has been my favorite foundation for the entire month of October. I use this nonstop. Um, if you saw me wearing foundation, it was this for sure. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way. I'm so late to the show on this. Like, I don't know why it took me so long to try this out. People have been raving about this for so, so long. And I don't know why I couldn't. Because I have so many foundations, I was like, eh, I don't really need it. Uh, but you guys, I highly, highly recommend this foundation. This is um, medium to full coverage. It's oil free and it's undetectable, which I like. Um, the name pretty much says it all. It's your skin, but better. I like to apply it with a beauty blender. Um, and the two shades that I've been switching between are Pearl and Sand. Uh, I have three of these. I have a darker one than Sand, but I've been just mixing these. Today I'm wearing Pearl because I'm really not all that self tan, but this has like a nice satin finish. I don't know why, but lately I haven't been going for like super, super matte foundations. They've just not been sitting well on my skin lately. Um, so this makes you look so healthy, so glowy. If you are oily, you could give this a try still, I think. Um, I would just be sure to really set your T-zone with a translucent powder. But for the most part, I mean, this stuff wears all day long. It does not break up on my nose or anything like that. I really, really enjoy this foundation. So I quickly just wanted to mention a setting powder. This is the... <laughs> MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Golden. I love this powder. So this is the Mineral Skin Finish. This isn't like their blotting powder or anything. So this just gives you like a nice healthy glow. It gives you a little bit of a sheen. It's not sparkly per se, but I'm wearing it again today. Um, it just really makes your skin look hydrated, healthy, glowy. It it just looks so healthy. The combination of these two has been my absolute favorite. I will still set my concealer and you know, my face highlight with a translucent powder, but for the rest of my face, I find that a translucent powder is a little bit too thick and gets a little bit cakey on me lately. So I will go in with this on the perimeter of my face and kind of set my cheeks and all of that stuff with this. And I find it does last a really, really long time as well. So I wanted to quickly mention a drugstore product in this video, and this is the Makeup Revolution highlighting kit. I don't know, it literally doesn't say anything. Once you take the sleeve off, there's no writing on this, like none whatsoever. Um, but this highlight kit is, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to blind you with the mirror. This highlight kit is intense. I think this is the gold one. They have a rose gold one as well, but that was a little bit too dark for me. So you get four shades here. I'm currently wearing this gold shade on my cheekbones, on my nose, and then I have this white shade as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. This stuff, you guys, is so, so, so intense. And when I'm feeling like extra crazy and I want an even more blinding highlight, I will set my face with setting spray and do my highlighter last. And while my face is still a little bit damp from that setting spray, I will go in and just highlight my cheekbones and it pops like crazy. I just wanna quickly, swatch this color I don't know what I would ever use that for I'm not gonna lie I would never use that but just look how pigmented and intense these highlighters are absolutely beautiful they are so stunning I really love the formula I don't think they enhance texture but I don't know if I'm a very good judge of that because I don't have a lot of texture on my cheeks so these lay very smoothly on me. Um, they are a drier formula, but they do still give you that kind of wet look. They're not chunky by any means, and they're pretty affordable. I think this palette was like 10 bucks and you get four highlights. These are definitely my favorite drugstore highlights at the moment. So next I have something super, super exciting to share with you guys. Um, they are actually false lashes. I did talk about these on my Instagram story, but in case you didn't see it, I am officially a brand ambassador for Icon eyelashes and I'm so super excited about it. Their lashes are really, really high quality and they are a little bit more expensive than your typical mink lash. The band is super comfortable to wear I'm wearing a pair right now. I'm wearing I'm wearing first date right now. They're kind of flared at the end to give you like that cat eye like elongated look. Um, but I have two more pairs here that I wanted to share with you. I have goals and then I have drunken love and these are just such high quality like beautiful mink lashes. These are like a more full all the way around 
And then goals, I would say, is kind of the same style, but more natural looking. I would wear these more like, not every day, because they are still very, very dramatic. Um, but I would wear these for more of a natural look. They do have a dark band, as most mink lashes do, so I do recommend using an eyeliner with these. But because they are so full and voluminous, they do need that thick band. But it's very, very comfortable. It's super flexible. I apply these in like 30 seconds. They're so, so easy to use. They're really high quality. Um, and I think the shipping to get to me took maybe like a week. So they are a little bit higher end in the price point because they are mink lashes, but they aren't as expensive as Lily lashes, I would say. Um, and I've been wearing these more than I have Lily lashes. I love these so, so, so much. And if you're interested, I do have a coupon code with them and I will leave that right here. And you absolutely don't have to use the code, but if you do wanna save some money and test some of these out, then feel free to do that. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really excited to be partnering with them. All right, so unfortunately, I did have one hair product that was a miss for me this month. I really didn't experiment with a ton of stuff this month just because, you know, with traveling and running around like crazy, I wanted to just stick to the basics, stick to what I knew. But I did try this new unwash dry cleanser and I was really intrigued by this shampoo, conditioner, hair care line because it's meant to be less drying and stripping than like a normal shampoo. It's kind of like the unwash trend where I know a lot of people are doing like the no poo shampoo kind of trend. Um, so I did want to try this out because it refreshes hair, absorbs oil, and it's residue free. And this is the new clean. So it's no water, no problem, refresh and revive hair on the fly. Yeah, I don't know if I just wasn't expecting the same product. To me, this is a dry shampoo. I don't, that just, that's what it is to me. Um, it does smell absolutely phenomenal. I will give them that. This smells really, really good. But I found that this made my hair more greasy than it did absorb any oil. And the no residue, I would definitely agree with that. There was absolutely no residue, but I kind of like a residue in my dry shampoo because I use that to volumize my hair and I like really scrub that into my roots to make sure it really soaks up all that oil. It gets really into my scalp. And this just didn't do it for me. This really didn't absorb any oil. Like I said, if anything, it made my hair more oily and it didn't really, I mean, it did give me some volume that I was looking for, but on my really, really dirty hair days, like, day three and four when I would normally go in with Batiste and I could go like two more days with dirty hair. This just kind of fell flat for me. I don't know, it just, it didn't do what I needed it to. Um, maybe I'm using it wrong, I don't know. The packaging is really cute and like I said, it smells really good. So if you've used this product before or any other products from the Unwash line, let me know how did it work out for you. I think maybe I'm just using it wrong or I'm expecting it to be a dry shampoo and it's not. So yeah, leave me a comment down below if you know anything about this. I was kind of bummed. I was hoping to find a new shampoo, but this was also, I think like 24 bucks. I got this from Ulta and it just really wasn't worth it to me. So I would pass on that. All right guys, that's going to conclude my October favorites. I just wanted to do kind of a short, quick video and sit down and chit chat with you guys, share some of the products that I have been loving this last month. Um, so yeah, as always, if you have any requests for videos or anything you want to see, leave me a comment down below. Um, and before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. Typically, it's every Monday and Thursday. I have been a little bit off schedule due to travel and work, um, but I'm hoping to get back onto the rhythm of things. I have a ton of new stuff to test out for you guys, so I'm really, really excited to start filming more. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Bye.